How to Care for Introverts According to brain scan studies, introverts process information differently than other people and are more likely to be misunderstood as individuals who are too serious or too aloof or too arrogant and rude. Therefore, it is crucial not only to understand introverts, but also to care for them. And here are five ways to do so. 1. Make them feel accepted for who they are. Introverts accept themselves as who they are, but at times, they wish they were more social like other people. Nevertheless, introversion is not something that people need to outgrow, but something they have to learn to accept and grow into, so extroverts should help introverts cherish who they are by accepting their unique traits. 2. Acknowledge them for their goodness. As introverts are generally caring and helping people, they expect to be appreciated for their kindness, thoughtfulness, and willingness to help others, whether it's a social cause for someone unknown or for family and friends. Though they do not expect the recipient to be grateful or thankful to them, they seek acknowledgement from those close to them. Introverts help others not to get recognition for their good works, but because it gives them a sense of satisfaction. Make them feel good for their good deeds. 3. Do not push an introvert. Sometimes extroverts tend to push introverts to get out in the world. This really doesn't work. An introvert may feel uncomfortable and unsuitable in a social situation, or hesitate to try new experiences and take more risks. Hence, it would not be wise to push an introvert. Until they are ready to challenge themselves or test their limits, they won't want to be pushed or rushed. Pushing introverts doesn't mean getting them to try new things or mingling with people, but also includes asking them to do stuff that they are not mentally comfortable with. Give them their time and space. 4. Be ready to give back. Introverts are good listeners who are slow to speak but quick to listen, whereas extroverts are good communicators who are quick to speak but slow to listen. But this doesn't mean that introverts don't want to be listened to as well. Even they need people whom they can share their thoughts with as well. As introverts are good listeners, be considerate and give back by listening to them when they need you to. 5. Accommodate introverts' differences The way introverts and extroverts think, feel, perceive, and make decisions are varied. For instance, extroverts who are full of energy like to expend their energy by actively engaging in social activities, hanging out with friends, and seeking happiness. They can make statements like, live in the present, and don't worry, be happy. On the other hand, introverts expend their energy by living inside and spending time alone. This does not mean they don't enjoy going out, but they tend to do it in the company of their loved ones or close circle of friends. For them, the meaning of seeking happiness may be very different from what extroverts think it means. To introverts, being happy may include helping others, making others happy, or achieving a sense of satisfaction. So what do you think about these tips? If you consider yourself an introvert, do these help you? If you consider yourself an extrovert, do you find yourself doing these for your more introverted friends? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our website and other social media for more content. And don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching.